What's up, folks? Saturday, about 11.20 a.m. I am out in the State Forest with a level two land navigation course. We've got one law enforcement guy here, one military guy that's going up for special forces selection and another gentleman that just does this stuff because he wants to do it. Um, outdoorsman, what have you. So uh, we spent the morning working on the whiteboard down at uh, camp with uh, geometric shapes, angles, inclines, uh, some trigonometry and formulas and things for determining slopes and elevation change and things like this. So uh, we've moved on from that and now we've got these guys out here running multiple points cross country where I have left items for them to retrieve. So they'll locate a coordinate, they'll retrieve or identify that item, retrieve it, and then I'll call in on the radio the next coordinate. And they're just leapfrogging, bouncing all over the place from point to point. I'm trying to get this guy ready for, for special forces selection, teaching him some different tricks, uh, using attack points and aiming off and things like that. But uh, that's what we're doing out here. So I was just kind of sitting around scrolling through the old face page here facebook and the other social media and i got to thinking i see a lot of the schools and stuff out here getting ready for next year you know i guess i'm kind of doing that too not really changing what we do so much just some uh you know photos and things like that on our ads nothing major we're doing any different for next year but uh everybody getting geared up for next year so i see a lot of uh of the programs and stuff that some of these schools offer nationwide uh you know look, i've got other videos that talk about that stuff but don't know how many of them are doing this full time or not I, probably not on our level and what we're doing as far as the number of programs and things but just a word to the wise for you guys that are thinking about going and getting some training next year going to a school or trying to become an instructor or whatever you got going on there uh do yourself a large favor and go somewhere where you can get legitimate credentials and not just, hey, I took this class or whatever and I got certified in whatever class it was. Get instructor credentials. If, you, if you're going to be teaching or trying to teach things, you need the fucking resume and you need the background to go with it. So you can look at my background, my resume, all this stuff we do, whatever. But my point is, it's to you folks out here that are looking to find somewhere to go, do yourself a favor and find you something that when you walk away from there, it actually means something instead of just being a fucking piece of paper. Because any fucking jerk off can write you a piece of paper that says so-and-so completed so-and-so. And unless it's a nationally recognized and accredited program, it don't mean shit. And you'll see a lot of that stuff in the survival community and in the firearms community and things like that. So uh, it doesn't mean anything unless it's backed up by something. So a lot of folks want to teach and scratch around with stuff on the weekends or whatever. You know, they think just because they were in the military or they were this or they were that, that it makes them competent to be an instructor. So a lot of these guys in the wilderness skills game you'll never see them doing anything volunteering their time for search and rescue or going out looking for missing persons or training search and rescue teams. Uh, I do that stuff all the time here and I'll also do free stuff. I'll tell them, come on, let's do it. It's free. So you'll never see these bushcraft and survival guys doing that kind of stuff. So back when I started my business, this is seven or eight years now going into the next year that we've been running. Um, I went to several schools. I went to some bushcrafty wilderness survival and some firearm stuff. Uh, some with legitimate credentials and some with a fucking piece of paper that didn't mean anything. So I don't even list a lot of the places I went back in the day on my website because I just don't want to be affiliated with it. It's, it's industry stuff. It's TV stuff. It's bullshit tactical stuff that makes no sense whatsoever so i just kind of disassociate myself and do what we do uh, we train full-time every day here but you'll never see a lot of these folks go out here and actively get involved in search and rescue works with all of their massive wilderness skills 
and resources. You'll never see them do it, but they'll damn sure sell you some Chinese shit. So it's all about them dollars right there. So anyway, if you're going to train somewhere next year, go somewhere where you can get legitimate credentials, real stuff. Because for you to go put yourself out there and say, hey, I can teach this because I went to Jim Bob's training school and Jim Bob handed me a piece of paper. It don't mean a fucking thing. Not to people that know what the hell they're doing. It don't mean shit. So a lot of these wilderness guys, they show up on a scene somewhere of a missing person. The SAR teams and the law enforcement people will laugh them fuckers plumb off the damn scene completely out of there because it's just bullshit. And that's why they don't do it, because they're more interested in selling stuff. Tactical firearm stuff, oh God, that's another big one. It's so much bullshit out there with that stuff. A lot of the folks that try to teach this stuff, no background, no experience with anything. They just make shit up. Not everybody, but quite a bit. So you got to be careful. But anyway, for you guys that are going to train in 2023, go check out my video that says questions to ask your instructor, whether it be survival, tactical, medical, wilderness skills, search and rescue, whatever the case may be. There's a list of questions that I strongly suggest you ask that instructor and you can cut through the bullshit straight out of the gate. So that's just the way it is. Don't fall into the, the bullshit. That's it. Y'all stay safe. God bless you. I'm going to get off here and uh, go find these boys.